guys, today we're going to talk about the IT movie that's coming out September 7th, 2017. So I made a little bit of a video of all the bikes that I supplied for the movie. There's three bikes from the 80s and one bike from the 90s. The one bike from the 80s is a 1980 Sears Free Spirit Constrictor. So that was the Chrome one. And then there's also another GT Venture. It was kind of a knockoff GT that a Canadian department store company made. Uh, and then there was a Norco Spitfire from the 80s too. Uh, that one didn't make it to the movie, but was bought by the company and shipped off to California for future props. And then the fourth one was the only bike that was not error correct, and that was the 1990s GT Vertigo. The Vertigo was about 1996, 1997. For the characters that rode them, Richie rode the GT Venture Pro. Uh, it looked pretty similar to a GT, but it wasn't, and it was a lot cheaper. And they did a spray paint job on that one. It was originally yellow. Stan is riding the Free Spirit Constrictor from Sears. So that was a really interesting bike. It was all chrome, and they left it chrome. Uh, I don't think they did much to that bike. So that one stays all original, and that one is from the early, early 1980s. And then the last one was the 90s GT Vertigo. So that one looks like it's been spray painted also. And that one was from the mid to late 90s. And it, they kept the original GT sprocket on it. They didn't spray paint that, but they spray painted the frame. So how it worked with this film company finding me is they searched all around the city. The movie was filmed in Toronto, more on the east side in Oshawa and some other places. And uh, they had a hard time finding BMX bikes, but they somehow and to find me, and I had a bunch of 80s BMXs, so I supplied them to them, and then they were looking for a couple uh, more uh, 60s style cruisers. Uh, I wasn't able to help them that, with that kind of thing. I did send them to some department stores where I had seen something similar, but I'm not sure where they had found those bikes. So one thing I was really happy about is that the movie set in the 80s, and the bikes are also from the 80s, except for one which does look like an 80s bike, but uh, I was really happy that they managed to be error correct. A couple other movies, they might have not used the right bikes for the right era, so I'm really glad that this thing worked out and I had these bikes in my collection. So that's the video, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you learned a little bit. I wanna give a special thanks to Amy at nerdblock.com. She sent me all the high resolution photos and videos from the shoots. Hopefully the movie's really good and everybody will enjoy it. And Thanks for watching. Check out some of my other videos. I've posted a lot of old school builds, so check them out over here. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.